This is going to be hard. Good morning, Kingdom citizens. Good morning, glory carriers. Good morning, atmosphere changes. Good morning, people of God. Good morning, good morning, and welcome. Welcome to Love to Life Online Talk Show International. I'm telling you, people of God, we have a special speaker on this morning. We have a great man of God, a mighty man of God, a powerful man of God. We have none other than Apostle Brian Jones. He's going to be our power hitter number one this morning. I'm telling you, people of God, I am so excited. I am so excited of what God is going to do on this broadcast this morning. Amen. But I would like to say thank you, Apostle Jones, for consenting to coming on Love to Life online talk show. Well, praise God. We are just so honored for to be here, woman of God. And looking forward to what God is doing in your ministry and the impact that you're having. We're just so thankful that you're faithful to do what God has called you to do in this hour. Amen. Amen. People of God, hold on to your seat because this is our powerhouse Saturday. And boy, we are in for a treat this morning. But before I bring the man of God forth, I would like to open up with a small prayer. Father, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify you, O oh God. We exalt your name on high, God, for you are truly worthy, Father. You are truly worthy of the praise, God. You are truly worthy of the glory and honor, O oh God. Father, you are truly worthy this morning. Father, we pray right now, God, that um, you have your way on this broadcast, O oh God. We pray right now, God, that um, you do what you do best, God. We pray right now, God, that um, you anoint your servant on today, God. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, oh God. Anoint him with fresh oil, oh God, with new glory, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. Father, we just pray right now, God, oh. that you move like never before, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. And we be careful, oh God, to give you all the glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Praise oh, God. I'm telling you, people of God, we are in for a treat on this morning. Amen, amen. Apostle Brian Jones, I would like to say thank you once again for coming on Love to Life Online Talk Show International. Apostle Brian Jones, can you tell us who is this great man of God? Who is Apostle Brian Jones? Do tell us. Well, praise God. Again, I just wanted to thank you for the opportunity to be here today with you. It is just, uh, I felt uh, a divine connection when we met, and I just know that uh, God is, is up to something wonderful. Uh, you asked the question, who is Brian Jones? Well, yes. uh, I'm, I'm basically just a servant of Christ. Um, I, I I don't I'm not good at talking about myself, but I, I'll give it a go. Um, sinner saved by grace, as we all I was saved at the age of 14. Met the salvation. Um, you know, I was on the streets. You know, in a gang, one of the toughest gangs in Detroit, uh, and uh, God saved me out of that life on the streets selling drugs and I mean doing everything I thought I was big enough to do. Um, hang, hanging out with some pretty pretty rough uh, adult gang members. But God, amen, had something else in plan for me, and he saved me. Actually, I was walking by a ministry that was praising God, and, and the Spirit of the Lord led me into the church and filled me with the Holy Spirit. And uh, God's been <laughs> marvelous, strong in my life ever since. So we've been, I've been in ministry. Uh, our ministry is focused. That had strong apostolic, prophetic, evangelism, push, and anointing. Uh, we pretty much preached all over the United States and abroad in other countries. I've written a book called Power Principles on Evangelism, one of the bestsellers. Uh, it's really uh, an apostolic, prophetic uh, teaching that opens up the true ministry gift of evangelism, which many don't even understand about that anointing. Uh, I've planted many churches around the United States and and have a heart to see God's people equipped and empowered, amen, to do the true work of the kingdom, come out of 
religion and uh, religion and tradition and begin to follow uh, the leading of the Holy Spirit for a move of God. That's that's what I'm all about. Amen. 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 Apostle, can you tell us the name of your ministry? Yes. Yes. The name of my ministry. Well, I have a few ministries, but right now it's Brian Jones Ministries uh, is my ministry. And uh, you can find me on Facebook, Brian Jones Ministries, as well as we have the School of Global Evangelism. This is a school where we teach and we train evangelists and missionaries. Amen. People that or people that just want to become soul winners and learn how to share their faith. And uh, that's what we're focusing on right now. And I'm also an associate pastor at Great Faith Ministries International under the leadership of Apostle Wayne T. Jackson. And I'm just so excited to be a part of that as well. I'm the executive director for Impact uh, Global Evangelism, Impact Network, which is the largest African-American television on cable and satellite in the world. So wow. I'm really excited about that. It's even bigger than the Word Network now. God oh. is using it in powerful ways. You can pretty much find it on any cable or satellite operator that's out there. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, Apostle, God is doing great things in your life and you are doing great things in the kingdom. And um, I would like to say thank you. Not only I, but the kingdom citizens would like to say thank you for being a kingdom builder. Listen, man of God, I know that you hear from God and I myself and the kingdom citizens, the glory of carriers, the atmosphere changes. We would like to know what have you heard in the throne room, what the Father's been speaking to you about. Can you share with the people of God? Absolutely. And I will be honored to. And I just want to, again, honor you for the work that you're doing Amen. and your energy and your smile. Praise <laughs> God. It's just so exciting. Amen. And, and you've got people excited about God. And, and I just pray God's blessings on you, woman of God, and to increase Amen. you in what you're doing in jesus name amen, amen. thank you so yes the, the the father is up to something we're living in a time that uh, we've never seen before here in this entire world um the lord is, has been dealing with me down through the years for such a time as this um many people are, are seeking for a new normal mm -hmm. and for things amen. to be normal but i'm here to tell you things will never ever be the same because we've actually shifted into a new era for the entire globe and 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 you know we have to be like the sons of issachar who understood the times and the seasons in which yes. they lived praise god it's so strategic to press into the uh, things of god right now because if you uh, are found uh, wanting as far as knowing where you are what's going on and what the you know what your world view is right now if you don't have a, a world view uh, a christian world view a true christian kingdom let me uh christian now that word christian is kind of ambiguous we don't know what it means anymore because there's so many different you know people that say they represent christianity so that's why i like to use the word kingdom the kingdom of god so yes. if we have a true kingdom of god world view then we can we can know how to move in the earth and represent uh, God's kingdom in such a time as this. What time is it? It is time where the new world order is emerging mm -hmm. and all this COVID and, uh, and, and, and all this control and, and all this misinformation and all that is just it's just a precursor to to control of the new world order. A lot of people don't even know that uh next year they're planning on uh they're starting building on the uh the global uh church or the one world what they call the one world church where christianity is illegal in the world one world church so what? a lot of people don't know what's going on today and and the lord's been really dealing with me about it because you know um the enemy is 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 is, is very subtly and now even more aggressively moving towards praise god uh pushing out christianity globally and bringing in a one world religion so we've got to, those that represent the kingdom of god
have to be prepared because there's coming a clash of what's of God, what's anointed and what's just religious. So you got to find out what side you're on. You don't want to be at the end of the day. You don't want to be at the end of the day. Uh, the Lord comes in and, and, and he says, depart from me for I never knew you. And you can say, well, I did this in your name. I did that in your name. Yeah, but were, were you religious or did you really truly have a relationship with Jesus Christ? So the Lord, amen, has been dealing with me about preparing God's people for the coming glory of God that's about to manifest. Because see, what's going to, when there's a clash of light and darkness, the light shines brighter. The, the Bible declares that when darkness, in Isaiah 60, when darkness comes, that uh, the glory of the Lord is revealed. Praise God. Read Isaiah 60. Praise God. Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. Gross darkness is covering the land. Gross darkness is covering, covering the people, but my light has risen upon you, that kings would meet you at your rising. So the Spirit of God is moving upon God's people in such a time as this, so that they can understand and see, amen, what God wants to do in their lives. He wants us to come out of religion. He wants to come out of tradition, and he wants us to come into relationship with him. Did you know that there's nothing religious about having a relationship with your father in heaven, with your creator who created you? Christianity is not a religion. Christianity should be a family. It should be the, a representation of the kingdom of God. So God is revealing his kingdom. The spirit of Elijah, praise God, that was manifest in John the Baptist, praise God, who announced that the kingdom of God was at hand. The spirit of Elijah has come back to the earth in today to let us know that the kingdom of God is going to manifest in a new way. And the Lord began to share with me how he revealed his glory on the mount, praise God, in front of his disciples, praise God, when they saw his body begin to glow and begin to shine, amen, to where, amen, it was a blinding light, amen. Just as his body was revealed, amen, in glory, God says, so shall the body of Christ be glorified or transfigured in the earth. So what does that mean? That means God is getting ready to come upon his people. It will be a clear miracle it will be a clear sign when god's glory comes upon you and those that are in darkness will be able to see amen the glory of the body of christ god is restoring his bride he's preparing his bride amen and it's a glorious bride amen god is not coming back for no broke down amen bride for no bride that's not fully clothed in her glory god is coming back Amen. For a bride that is clothed and ready and her her light is bright. Praise God. Her light is glorious. Praise God. So there's a glorious light that God is restoring back to his people. So what, what do we have to do? We have to be like those 10 virgins. Praise God. Amen. Five were wise, five were foolish. Five of them got ready. Five of them didn't. Five of them waited to the last minute till it was too late. Praise God. And the door was closed. So God is calling, amen, for his bride. He's giving us signs. He's giving us, amen, prophetic signs that, that are being fulfilled in the Bible right now so that we can be ready. We don't have no excuse, especially those of you that know, amen, the word of God. Those of you that have been trained in the things of God. Those of you, amen, that have studied, amen, the word of God and received the spirit of God, there is no excuse for us, amen, not to be ready. So the word of the Lord is what's on my heart is to tell God's people his glory is returning to the house. The fire of the Holy Ghost is returning to the Thank house. You. Amen. The fear or the, the reverence of God is coming back to the house and we've got to get ready to receive him. We've got to be in position to know who our God is, what he wants to do, how he wants to use us personally. Yeah. Each and every one of us, God has an assignment for in the earth. Praise God. 
You mean every born again kingdom citizen has mm -hmm. an assignment from God in the earth. So yeah. what are you talking about, preacher? God has something special he wants for you to do, and you've got yeah. to be in position yeah. to receive it. And you can't accept less than anything than the original. You know, I uh, I talk about, you know, the spirit of the Antichrist. A lot of people, mm -hmm. amen, uh, uh, talk about the Antichrist, the Antichrist spirit. But what is the Antichrist? It is, a lot of people think Antichrist means that he's the opposite mm -hmm. of Christ. And, and he's a, uh, but, but what it is, it doesn't mean that he's an opposite. It doesn't mean that it means it means it is a replacement. That word anti means it meant a replacement or a counterfeit. Come mm -hmm. on, somebody. See, the, right. the devil comes like an angel of life. He yes, comes he with a form of godliness, but he denies the power thereof. What is the power? The power of true holiness, the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul said, I didn't come to you, amen, with enticing words of man's wisdom, but I came with a demonstration of the spirit and of power. So we have to be restored back to demonstrate what kingdom looks like. The world is in a place right now, woman of God, where they're hungry, they're yes, thirsty they for something real. Praise God. Amen. Yes. And we and, and the church, so-called church, has been feeding them a bunch of religion that's giving them a bad taste in their mouth because it is a replacement anointing. It is a replacement, amen, gospel. We've got to make sure that we're preaching the same gospel that the apostles of old preached. Because the apostles said, if any other, even an angel from heaven come to you preaching any other gospel, let him be what? Let him be a curse. We want to make sure that we're not an accursed people. We want to make sure that we are preaching the true gospel of Jesus yes. Christ, that we are representing the Jesus of the Bible, that we are manifesting Praise God. Amen. The true anointing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The signs, wonders, and miracles. God's glory, his Shekinah presence. Amen. Yes. Is coming into our midst. Praise God. That we have entered into a level of relationship with God where we can manifest his presence to the world. This is the anointing that God is looking for. This is the evidence. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. Are you a true believer? Then what signs are following you? You've got to press in, amen, yeah. into relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ask him, amen, to receive, amen, your, your, your holy prayer language. Amen. Just like they did in the book of Acts, praise God, when the Holy Ghost was given on that day praise god the bible said he came in as a rushing mighty wind yes. and it sat upon each of them as of fire what happened to the fire what happened to the fire of the holy ghost come on yes. somebody amen yes. god is restoring his glory back to the church now now this is what god wants in order to get there you have to understand praise god Amen. If you look back in the Old Testament, in the days of Solomon, praise God. Amen. The Bible declares, amen, that they would offer a sacrifice and yeah. the sacrifice would be accepted by what? By fire. And mm -hmm. now in the New Testament, the Bible is teaching us to present our bodies a living sacrifice, yes. holy and acceptable to God, which is our reasonable service. And the way you know praise God, that your sacrifice is acceptable because it's a manifestation of fire. Just like on the day, praise God, of Pentecost, when they received the Holy Ghost and fire. God wants to restore the fire. Now, there's two kinds of fire in the Bible. There's the destructive fire, like we see in Sodom and Gomorrah, Amen. Yes. The fire and brimstone. And then there's the acceptable sacrifice fire, the fire that will come down and accept the sacrifice. Praise God. We've got to present our yes. bodies, living sacrifices and yes. say, God, fill me with your fire. It's a consuming fire, fire that will burn up everything that's not like him. Yes. Praise God. That, amen. That the presence and the power of the key word is holy. Holy Spirit can dwell in you and empower you, amen, for such a time as this. Let me tell you something, saints. I speak to you as a man of God, amen, that 
you must be empowered by the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. The, the, the apostles of old, they understood this. Praise God. And everywhere they went, they asked them, you know, do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I believe in Jesus. And the next question was, have you received the power of of the Holy Ghost. No, we haven't heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Don't let nobody tell you that the Holy Ghost is not for today. Because if you don't have power with God, you're not going to have the ability to fight against the enemy. That's why, amen, so many people never reach their full potential because they don't press into intimacy with the Holy Spirit. The Holy, who's the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. Come on, somebody. It's God. It's his spirit that he shares with you. He wants to come inside your house and live in every room of your house. That's another thing. You can't yes. just say, well, I want you to come into my life, but I don't want you to come into my basement. I don't want you to come into my to my back room. No, you have to let him into every area of your life. Any area that you're ashamed of, that's an area that you're not letting him in. Open up the door. Invite him in. Because you can't deal with your situation. You can't deal with your sin. You can't deal with your weakness. That thing that won't seem to let you go. You can't deal with it on your own. You need the power of the Holy Spirit. What what is God saying to me in this time? God's saying, God's people, it's time for you to press in. It's time for you to take off your religious clothes. It's time for you to take off your religious mask. It's time for you to take off those grave clothes of religion. And be clothed, amen, with the spirit and the power of God that his glory might be revealed in you. This is what God is saying. It's a time of restoration. It's a time, praise God, to receive, to be activated in the things of God because God wants to use you. It doesn't matter if you're 100 years old or if you're two years old, one years old. God wants to use you. It doesn't matter your financial status. It doesn't matter where you live, if you're a woman, if you're a man. Amen. None of that matters. God wants to raise you up and put his glory in you. Praise God. He wants to equip you financially. He wants to equip you spiritually. He wants to equip you emotionally. He wants to equip you in the things of God. He wants you to know that his power rests in you. Praise God. Am I going too long? No. Okay. Listen, I mean, this thing, this fire is in me. Amen. I feel it. I feel the presence of God. Amen. Amen. He just wants to come forth and touch those that are watching right now. Amen. This is not by chance that you're even watching right now. This is a divine appointment for you. This is, amen, has been orchestrated by the master orchestrator. Amen. Today that you would connect to this ministry and receive this anointing. Some of you leaders out there, you've been walking by yourself. Praise God. You've been hungry and thirsty for something real, for covenant relationship. That's something else that you'll know that's the body of Christ. Do you know, amen, that religion, praise God, is a superficial replacement? Amen. It's it's, 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 it's uh, any t- a type of superficial connection praise God, is not going to cause the anointing to flow. God is not in anything superficial. If it's not a relationship of depth, praise God, the the anointing is not going to flow. The anointing starts, amen, at the head, and it flows down, praise God, amen, Aaron's beard. Come on, somebody, that's what the Bible says, amen, and then down his skirt. If it's not a true connection, the anointing cannot flow. Praise God. A religious affiliation is not going to cause the anointing to flow. Oh, I'm a member of Eastside Baptist First Fellowship Church. That don't mean nothing, honey. Amen. You've got to be connected. Amen. In covenant relationship. It's got to be a relationship of love. Praise God. And that relationship has to be connected to the head. The anointing should be flowing. So you want to make sure you press in. Ask God, amen, to show you leaders, followers, whatever level of ministry you're in, make sure that you're connected to where the anointing is flowing, where signs, wonders, and miracles, and the power of the Holy Spirit is manifesting on a regular basis, where they're teaching you to press into the things of God, where they're teaching you spiritual strategies on how to press in and intercession, praise God, where they're winning souls for the kingdom of God. And that's another sign 
Yes. Where you see the kingdom of God advancing, yes. praise God, souls will be being won, praise God, to the kingdom of God. I'm not talking about going up proselyting somebody to come into your ministry or come into your church. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about snatching a soul out of darkness and bringing him or her into light. Do you know that that is the highest level of spiritual warfare? Amen. The actual act, amen, of pulling a soul out of darkness into light. What is the war about? The war is about souls, y'all. It ain't about, you know, uh, you know, building up your bank account. It, uh, spiritual warfare ain't about, amen, your, your status in life. Spiritual warfare is in place. There's a battle for the souls of the people of mm. the world. There's yes. a battle of the souls for children, for young people, mm. for old yes. people. Yes. Amen. Yes. There's a battle yes. for your soul. Praise God. Amen. Yes. And that spiritual warfare is real. Praise God. And, and, and I teach, you know, it's not all about going up into the heavenlies and dealing with spirits that are in the heavenlies because there's enough spirits down here that you need mm -hmm. to deal with that, that are in mm -hmm. people. The warfare is in the minds of the people. The high place is in the minds of the people. Come yes. on, somebody. Amen. Yes. That, that's yes. where the war is the war of the mind. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And we've got to come with the power of the Holy Spirit to set free Amen. The captive, those that are captivated in their minds where the devil have them in a wrong believing system, a system of belief that will not produce the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 We've got to come forth. Amen. Men and women of God and deal. Amen. With the powers and the principalities that have been loosed on this earth. Praise God. And bind them. Praise God. Amen. And cast them out. Praise God. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall do what? They shall cast out devils. You need to know how to cast out a devil because guess what? Amen. These spirits are working through people. Praise God. People are bound. Amen. People mind, especially right now in this season, people's minds are all messed up. They're oh, under man. all type of demonic pressure. Yeah, Praise yeah. God. They're under uh, uh, all type of de demonic influence. Amen. They have mind problems. Amen. They're worried. They're sick. They're confused paranoid praise god but guess what there's a power in you that is the answer greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world this is the season of the revealing of the true sons of god now that word sons translates into male and female it yes. means the matured children of god the bible declares that all of creation is in travail groaning for the manifestation of amen the sons of god the matured ones the men and women of god to come forth mm -hmm. all of creation is groaning and in travail waiting for you to grow up waiting for wow. you to walk in the fullness yeah. of what god has called you to do yeah. he gave some apostles he gave some prophets some pastors some teachers and some evangelists what for the perfecting of the ministry Till we all come to the unity of the faith, to the perfect man, to the, the Bible says the fullness of the stature of Christ. What does that mean? It means that the, the full power of Christ is operating in you. That's God's desire for you. That's where God is, wants to bring us to because there's a gross darkness in the earth and it's time for the light. In the glory of God to arise. That's what God is talking about today. He don't care about all that other stuff right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, God is focused on his bride being, amen, ready for his coming in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. Oof. I'm telling you, kingdom citizen, I told you guys we was in for a treat this morning. I'm telling you, Apostle Brian Jones, a mighty man of God. Woof. Apostle. Yes. Can you speak again about the one world religion? Cause that like really like got my attention, you know, um, in the beginning of the broadcast because I was unaware of it. And not only I, I know a lot of other people was unaware of it as well. Can you talk a little bit more about that to inform the people about what is about to take place? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Let me let me grab my notes here on that. I'm working on even a new book. And while I'm looking for that, I want to tell the people about the book on how to understand the anointing and power principles on evangelism. You can find it on Amazon. 
just type in power principles on evangelism and the author of course is brian jones you want to get that book because i deal with the apostolic i deal with the prophetic i deal mm -hmm. with with the, the evangelism anointing and the un upcoming last move of god because amen the greater shall be latter than the former praise god the, the church was born in apostolic power and demonstration mm -hmm. praise god and the bible declares that greater works shall we do so i'm so excited about that you want to get the book power principles on evangelism you can get it right on amazon or you can call my ministry at 1-888-493-0000 Five zero. That's one eight 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 four nine three zero zero five zero. If you want to call, get that book. I want to get that book into your hands. Praise God. Any love gift, Amen. We will send you out that book. Praise God. If you want, Amen. A whole lot of books to share. That's what I do. I I, I have a ministry where I just share different books to people that I meet. So if you want to buy them in bulk, Amen. Definitely give us a call at one eight eight eight. Four nine three zero zero five zero, and I will make sure that I give it to you at the less cost possible. Praise God! If you want to buy those and share those, and um, equip others, Amen, in the anointing and to be able to win souls. So you asked me about the one world religion, right? Yes, but Kingdom Citizens Glory Carriers, I would like for you to like, comment, and share this video because this need to get out to the people of God so that we can be aware of what the uh, uh, um, enemy is trying to do, you know, so that we can be able to, um, 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 we can be able to counterattack it or, you know, pray against it, you know, to try to slow it down. Amen. So apostle, can you please do share with us of what is about to take place? Well, you know what? Amen. You know, I, I like your comment because we, you know, like I said earlier, we have to be like the sons of Iskar and understand yes. the time and the season in which we live. And the Bible declares, John the Baptist, amen, the Bible says that since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. So when we see the force of the enemy uh, coming with spiritual violence, we have to meet it with that yeah. same violence. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about a physical violence. I'm talking about a spiritual violence. And right. the Bible declares that if we resist the devil, he will flee from us. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, resisting the devil, before I get into that, resisting the devil is not bracing and resisting, like, you know, you, you, you brace yourself and, and push. No, resisting the devil, the way you resist the devil is to press in to the things of God, to get into that secret place, get into the holies of holies. Amen. That's how you resist the devil. You amen. manifest the presence of God because guess what? He cannot, amen, hang out where the fire is burning him. Come on, somebody. Because the presence of God, amen, makes him tremble because it's a tormenting thing for him to be in the presence of God, in the presence of his holy fire. So we've got to manifest the power and the presence of God to come against this darkness, to come against this uh, this one world uh, religion. Praise God, because the people need to see, Amen. That there is a re that is an antichrist. That is a replacement Christ. Amen. So in order for us to come against that, we what do we have to do? We have to show them the truth. Amen. So 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 we there's really nothing we can do to stop it or to delay it but what we can do is meet it with the exact same force so people yes. won't be amen hoodwinked and they won't amen uh uh be be deceived into yeah. following this false christ Close so off our Christ's job Christ's is Christ. to present as the body of christ the true christ and be able to manifest power and anointing praise god Amen. We ought to be healing folks. We ought to be delivering folks. We ought to be casting out devils. We ought to be, amen, distributors of kingdom wealth. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I can go yeah. on and on about that, but maybe you'll invite me back and we'll teach a little bit more. I sure will, that. Apostle. I, you will always, 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 <laughs> there will always be an open slot <laughs> for you to bless come you, on up you. to life online talk show. 
You're more than welcome to come back. Bless you. Now, as far as the One World uh, religious religion headquarters, it's set to open next year. Okay, and it's it's a, a, a multi uh, million dollar project, and it's set to open in 2022. The headquarters will be called the Abrahamic Family House, and is being built on an island in the middle eastern city of Abu Dhabi. The headquarters is being done in collaboration with Pope Francis and Sunni Muslim leader Shakai Enam Tel Aviv. After they both signed the Global Peace Covenant, you know, the Bible says when they say peace, peace, sudden destruction is coming. Jesus. By the way, when they signed this Global Peace Covenant called the Document of Human Fraternity for World Peace, the stated purpose of the Abrahamic Family House <clears throat> is to bring understanding and tolerance among the faiths, but there is a couple of notable challenges. First, Abu Dhabi is the part of the UAE where it is illegal for Christians to, to evangelize and, and have conversation mm. and cause conversion from Islam is prohibited. So they're building this one world religion mm -hmm. where they want to bring all religions in and make them one. But we know that that's antichrist as well because there's only mm -hmm. one God, there's mm -hmm. only one Lord, one faith, mm -hmm. and one baptism. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, Amen, coming to God through His Son Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. then it's not true, and it's not going to get anybody saved. It's not going to produce anointing. It's not. I've never seen none of those prophets in any of those other religions work one miracle. You know what, None of them have been raised from the dead. You know what, Apostle, this is good because God, you know, I really do believe that God sent you on here so that the people of God could be aware of the tactics of how the enemy is trying to come in, you know, and take over. Really, really, it's just revelation being fulfilled. But God always give us a warning you know, before yes. destruction. So this is great that, that um, you are on here, you know, sharing this with the people of God to enlighten us, to let us know what is about to come. And you said in 2022, so that the uh, uh, intercessors and the uh, 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 people of God can pray to start yes. praying against that and everything. Yeah, and, well, let me, let me give down. you some clarity. Let me give you some clarity about that. Okay. Yeah. This, this is what we need to do. If you really want a prayer focus, is not to pray against it, yes, but to pray for God's people yeah. to be equipped and empowered and come against it okay. through the Spirit. Okay. So we're not coming okay. against what they're doing, but yes. we need to be praying for the manifestation, the manifestation that heaven God. will manifest on earth and make a difference to show the people the truth. Amen. That should be the prayer. Okay. Okay. We don't want to spend time praying against something, but mm -hmm. we want to spend time praying for something. Praying, We're praying, praying that Jesus will be God. glorified. That, that yes. when I talked about Jesus' body being transfigured. Remember that on the mount yes. in front of yes. the uh, disciples? We need yes. to be praying that his body be transfigured again in the earth through the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We need to be praying Praise God that there be a that God will show a clear difference between yes. that which is not of him and that which is of him. Yes. That he will show a clear difference between the Antichrist and the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. So Amen. we need Amen. to pray for us. We need to pray yes. for the body of Christ to arrive yes. and to be and to become unified. Mm -hmm. Praise God. To become equipped and empowered. Amen. To receive the ministry of the apostle, to receive the ministry of the prophet, to receive the ministry of the evangelist and the pastor and the teacher, to be led by the spirit of God, to be empowered by the spirit of God, that his glory will return to the house. Because guess what? If God's glory and power is being manifested, that is the only violence that's going to overturn and destroy the works of the enemy. Mm -hmm. So instead of praying against the enemy, let's pray to be equipped. Let's pray mm -hmm. to be empowered and okay. so that the body of Christ can do it. 
Because okay. see, guess what? God is not going to sovereignly do it. He's going to do it, and this is prophetic. He's going to do it through his body. He's raised up the body of Christ to do yes. what? The Bible says to destroy the works of the yes. devil. So if you want the yes. works of the devil to be destroyed, then you need to come to a place of maturity and press into the things of God so that God can use you to destroy the works of the devil because that is our assignment in the earth. Amen. Praise God. I get excited about this stuff. I'm excited. Because with once you, we God. understand that, once we understand that, and we the mission becomes clear, then praise God, then we can go and do what God has called us to do in this earth. So, amen. Intercessors, prayer warriors, let's pray for the glory of God to return to the house to meet the enemy, amen, with the violence necessary, praise God, to destroy his kingdom in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, people of God, this is our power hidden number one for our powerhouse Saturday. I'm telling you, Apostle Brian Jones, a mighty man of God. I'm telling you, a man of much wisdom and much knowledge. Amen. Listen, Apostle, is there a website that um the people of God can um go to your website and read more about your ministry? And then also, um, you know, if someone would like to partner with your ministry how can they go about to do that do you have like um um a cash app a paypal or a zelle account to where the people can like partner with your ministry to support your ministry yes ma'am and thank you yeah you can, the best way to reach me amen if you need mm -hmm. prayer if you need connection or if you want mentoring we offer mentoring and ministry if you if you need amen a connection if you need a prayer whatever your need is or you want to connect you want to get books you want to give call 1888 493 that's the best way i want you to connect with us i want to hear your voice leave us a message if you want to make a pledge Praise God. If, if the answering service comes on, leave your message. We will call you back. Amen. Praise God. If you need to speak with me personally, leave that message and let, 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 let the operator know that you need to hear from me personally. Amen. I'm, I'm very busy, but I do get back. Amen. To those that call me, but you're not calling me for nothing that's uh, uh, um, superficial. Amen. When you call me for something, you know, that's serious, you give me a call, praise God, and I'll give you a call back. Also, praise God, the, you asked for the cash app. Uh, yes. It's BJ Ministries. BJ Ministries. That's, you know, the dollar sign, then BJ Ministries for Brian Jones Ministries. BJ Ministries is the cash app, praise God. Or you can email me if you rather email me and you want to have an email conversation, you can email me at Brian Jones, that's B-R-I-A-N-J-O-N-E-S at watchimpact.com. That's W-A-T-C-H-I-M-P-A-C-T.com. Brian Jones at watchimpact.com. Praise God. And of course, amen, I want to encourage everybody to go to www.watchimpact.com and watch Impact. Praise God. The largest African-American owned, founded network in the world in almost a hundred million homes and abroad, praise God, in Bahamas and other countries. Oh, and this wow. is a cable satellite network. This is on television, not just on the internet, praise God. So you want to, uh, uh, you can find me there. I'm usually um, on, on the show with Apostle Wayne T. Jackson. I'm one of his co-hosts along with Prophet Fred Brain uh, and 10, 10, 10 a.m. Eastern time. If you want to watch the program, praise God, feel free to go there. But if you want to contact my ministry, Brian Jones Ministries, again, that's 1-888-493-0050. You can find us on Facebook, uh, Brian Jones Ministries, or School of Global Evangelism. Thank you. I'm telling you, Apostle, I'm so glad for God connecting me with you because I I know I'm going to have a network one day. <laughs> Amen. I'm speaking it into existence. And, and, and um, I thank God for placing certain people in my life, you know, that 
you know, I'm connecting with so that I can learn, you know, I want to learn everything that I need to learn before I'm in, so that I can have my network, you know, so I thank God for, um, you know, putting you in my path because it was strange how I met you. I, I, it was really strange, you know, so. But well, that's how the Holy Spirit do. It'd be, yeah. expect, if you could, I tell folks, if you connect with me, expect strange things to start happening because the Spirit of God, amen, moves and you'd be like, wow. So expect I'm strange things. That's a good I'm sign. I'm telling you, Apostle, because, um, you know, um, I was in my a messenger and you just popped in there with one of your videos. And I'm like, well, who is this guy? So <laughs> I opened up your video and I was just sitting there just watching it. And then I said, well, God, I would love to bring him on my show. And the Holy Spirit said, reach out to him. And I said, well, God, I don't think you're going to want to come on my show. He said, just reach out. And I reached out to you and you responded back. And I was like, oh, my God. So I was so, you know, glad about that. And I thank God for you coming on here, um, you know, sharing with the kingdom citizens, the glory carriers, the atmosphere changes, the people of God, what God um, has been speaking to you about in the throne room. Amen. And I well, thank you once God. again, um, Apostle. I know you are not big on titles. You told me that. You was like, I'm not big on titles, but I still want to give you um, respect and honor and call you Apostle. Amen. Well, bless you. Bless you. I, 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 I just, I'm just so honored to be here again. You know, um, I, I, it's something how, how, how God does things, you know, Amen. and how he brought us together. And, and, and I'm so grateful for it. Again, um, you know, what God wants to do is he wants to get this word out to his people. Yes. And my heart is, and the reason why I responded to you is because my heart is to see the people of God, amen, uh, truly walking in all their kingdom potential. Praise God. And my heart is for the people of God. If, if you're in this, ministry for any other reason than called by God and having a heart for, for the people of God. And there's many so-called preachers out here that it's, it's what they do, but it's not who they are. Uh, and um, if it's not who you are, you, you ought not to be a man in this genre because, um, you know, it's got to be about the people because God is in love with you. God is in love with the people. You're the apple of his eye. Amen. So, amen. You should never get so big to where, amen, you're not uh, available for certain platforms. Like I said, I've, I've preached on almost a, every major Christian television network in the world. Um, but guess what? Uh, my heart is for God's people and I'm not going to be, you have to be at a certain level or a certain platform for me to come on because that's not the heart of God. God is in love with you. Whoever's watching right now, God is in love with you. He wants your heart. He wants you to know that he, that, that he perfectly loves you. That perfect love is available to you right now. If you don't feel that you've been loved right, if you feel, amen, that you've been done wrong, I want you to know that there's someone who perfectly loves you and that if you would open up your heart right now, I don't care where you're at, what you're doing, and just say, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord. Come into yeah. my heart. Yes. Save me. Take my life. I offer you my body as a living sacrifice. Live through me today. And I receive your spirit. Now, right now, God has forgiven all your sins. He's coming into you right now. His spirit is filling you right now. That, 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 that electricity you feel like chills going through your body right now. That's the presence of the Holy Spirit letting you know, amen, that he's with you. Some of you are feeling a warmth right now. You're feeling the power of God. Amen. Some of you are sensing a peace that you've never experienced before. Praise God. Some of you are being healed right now. There's a woman that's being healed by throat cancer. God is healing your body right now. You've been suffering for seven years. Seven years you've been battling with this thing, but God is breaking that thing right now in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Amen. There's a woman I see you walking. You've been walking on a cane and crutches. God is healing those legs right now and speaking strength to them. There's something going on in the spinal cord. God is healing right now in the name of Jesus. There's a woman you've been praying, amen, to amen, give birth, to have children. They said that you could never have children. God is sending you twins in the Ooh, name Jesus. of Jesus. Jesus amen. You. Praise God. The spirit of God is moving. He's healing right now. I want you to reach out, amen, to whatever device you're watching on right now. Touch the screen. There's an anointing for you. Praise God right now. Receive the power and presence of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. There's some business owners that are watching. God said he wants you to sow 1% of your net worth every year to evangelism. And God says, I'm going to cause your business to exceed 100% of where you are now. Praise God. Amen. Be obedient. Move. Call that number one. Amen. 888-493-0050. Make your pledge today. Connect to this anointing and receive your miracle. God is going to exchange your faith. Giving is a measure of your faith. God is going to exchange your faith for a miracle. There's a spiritual exchange that's going to take place as you reach out by faith to touch this mystery, to help us and support us win souls. Call that number 1-888-493-0050. And God, amen, is going to exchange your faith for your miracle. God bless you. Uh, I'm telling you, kingdom citizens, that this morning, God has blessed us this morning. Amen, amen. Listen, people of God, support the man of God, support his ministry. And listen, if anyone um, would like to know more about the global ministry part and um, the network, just reach out to him. Amen, amen. Listen, I love everyone with the love of the Lord. Now, don't forget to tune back in this evening at 6 p.m. We have our power hitter number two. We have Prophetess Erica Wallace from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm telling you, people of God, you don't want to miss this great woman of God. She's going to come on here. She's going to share with us what she heard in the throne room. Amen, amen. Listen, take every. I'm going to take the Lord with you all day today. Everyone be blessed. Apostle, thank you once again for coming on Love to Life Online Talk Show International. And I, I just want to say thank you. And I love you with the love of the Lord. Toodles, everyone. Apostle, hold on. Toodles, everyone. <laughs>